Hey there, it's Brooks here from DocumentSnap.com, and today we're going to be talking about how to switch the computers that the ScanSnap iX500 uses for wireless scanning. In July 2013, ScanSnap released a new feature that allows you to scan via Wi-Fi from, a, from your ScanSnap iX500 to a Mac or Windows computer, which can be a great time saver. The thing is, what happens if you have more than one computer that you want to be able to scan to? It is possible to switch them, but is not as obvious and user-friendly as it could be. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So right now I've, I'm at my dock and I've got my ScanSnap Manager icon. Uh, I also have my ScanSnap turned on, but not plugged in by a USB. You'll have to take my word for that. And it's I'm not seeing what I would expect to see, which is the ScanSnap Manager icon lit up with a little wireless signal, which tells me that it's connected via Wi-Fi. I don't have that. Um, by the way, if you're going to do all this, you need to make sure you have the latest software update. So right click on the ScanSnap Manager icon, go Help, and do Online Update if you haven't already. Because as of July 2013, at the very end, that's when this was released. So I don't see that Wi-Fi icon that I would expect. So I'm going to right click here. And I'm going to try to fix that by going connect by Wi-Fi. So it's found my scan snap, which is great, but it's got a little X through it. And what happens when I hit detail? It says there's another computer registered in this scan snap. Basically, the way that the scan snap works is it pairs with a certain computer. So right now, I've got it set up to scan to my Windows computer. Let's bring up my Windows computer and take a look. So I flipped over to my Windows computer, and you can see down here my ScanSnap Manager icon is lit up, and there's a little blue wireless icon there which shows that my Windows computer is the one that's connected via Wi-Fi. I don't have the USB cable plugged into my Windows computer. It's doing it wirelessly. So that would be fine if I want to use my Windows computer, but I don't. I want to use my Mac computer, so we need to switch it. So let's flip back to my Mac, and we'll do that now. Okay, so here I am back at my Mac, and what we're going to do is use a tool called the ScanSnap Wireless Setup Tool, but it's a little buried. So if we go to Applications in Finder, and I, don't worry, Windows users, I'm going to show you how to do this on Windows too. And we go into this ScanSnap folder here. You'll see here we've got the ScanSnap Wireless Setup tool. Now before I run it, there's one thing that you have to do which is a little counterproductive. If you want to switch the computer that it uses for Wi-Fi, you have to plug in the USB cable. So I just plugged it in right now. You can see it came up and says it's ready to scan. So my ScanSnap is on and the USB cable is plugged in. So let's run this ScanSnap wireless setup tool. And we're going to go maintenance down here at the bottom. And you've got, see we've got the second option here which is switch computer for Wi-Fi connection. And it's telling us that another computer has already been set up, which we know. So we're going to hit that switch computer button. It's asking, do you want to configure this scan, this computer for Wi-Fi? Yes. And there you go. This computer has been configured for Wi-Fi. So let's hit OK. And now it says this computer has been set up. Awesome. So we're going to hit back and then quit. And it's restarting ScanSnap Manager, and it's all connected. So let's try unplugging the USB cable, and we should switch over to Wi-Fi. Let's find out. And you can see now we are connected. ScanSnap Manager is there, and it's got the little Wi-Fi icon. So we've successfully converted over from having the ScanSnap pointed to the Windows machine to the scan snap pointing to the Mac machine. Awesome. Now I'm going to take you through how to go the other way and do this going from one computer to a Windows computer. So let's jump over the Windows computer and see how things go. Okay, so here we are on our Windows computer. 
in this case we're going to be switching the scan snap from being connected to the Mac to being connected back to Windows. Of course if you had multiple Windows computers the process would be exactly the same. So right now this computer is not plugged in via USB to my ScanSnap iX500 though the iX500 is on. So if you remember from earlier in the video in order to do that initial setup to switch the computer back we have to plug the USB cord in. So that's exactly what I'm going to do now. And now you can see we've got a connection via USB which is great but that's not actually what we want. We want a Wi-Fi connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the start button and I guess Windows 8 would be the equivalent, whatever that is. Go to Programs. Scroll down to Scan Snap Manager. Here we go. And you can see our good friend here, Scan Snap Wireless Network Setup. So we're going to run that. And the process is exactly the same. We're going to hit Maintenance. It's telling us that another computer has already been set up, which we know. So we're going to click here on this button here. Yes, we want to configure this computer to be connected to the ScanSnap via Wi-Fi. It does its magic. And now it says the computer has now been configured for Wi-Fi connection with ScanSnap. Awesome. So we're going to hit back. We're going to hit exit. And we're plugged in with the USB right now, so let's unplug it, and hopefully we'll be connected by Wi-Fi with this Windows computer now. And there you go. We can see it momentarily was disconnected, and now we've got the little scan snap icon with the wireless connection, and we can now scan via Wi-Fi to this Windows computer. So. It's a two-step process for switching back and forth between computers. First, you plug in the USB cable. Next, you run ScanSnap Wireless Network Setup and go through the prompts there. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.